Welcome back. You're watching our continuous coverage of the changes that have taken place at Infosys Technologies. We're coming to you live from the Infosys headquarters in Bangalore. Uh, joining us now is Sudeen Apte, Principal Analyst at Offshore Insights. Sudeen, many thanks for joining us and thank you very much for patiently standing by as these changes have been announced. Uh, your initial reactions on the structure that the Infosys Nominations Committee has put in place. Yes, interesting. You know, on a on a lighter side, I would say that we saw last year uh, experiment of a joint CEOs. Uh, while the situation and the structure is a little different, now we are seeing another experiment of a so to say, you know, two chairmen uh, of the company. Uh, on a more serious note, uh, it sounds interesting um, a structure or a combination, uh, two insiders uh, managing the organization. So in in a way, there is a continuity of uh, you know operation. Someone from IT industry who has seen it for last 20 years, you know, uh, managing the organization's operations delivery uh, part and then at a thought leadership there is a completely external person uh, and I'm, I'm very happy with that change. It's the first time at least to my best uh, that a completely uh, non-IT person comes at a very senior position. Uh, I as an analyst has been always thinking why that, you know, uh, only IT person needs to be heading the company. So, you know, it's a very uh, fresh change. Uh, uh, he brings in experience of uh, not only banking but as a banker uh, has a huge experience exposure to the range of verticals and also I think uh, immense experience about transforming of his own earlier company uh, from uh, you know. So you are not part of the camp Sabin that, so you are not part of the camp Sabin that believes uh, that KV Kamath's lack of IT experiences uh, is actually a disadvantage. You believe that he will be able to bring a fresh perspective and you actually see that as an advantage. Yes, I think, you know, I see that as an advantage and actually I had been uh, saying in my couple of reports, I had mentioned also that uh, if the industry has to align its solution and value to business of client, then you need business leadership coming into industry and from that perspective, it's a fresh start. You know, uh, uh, interestingly, Infosys has, uh, has experimented with this joint uh, leadership structure for a while. Mr. Murthy and Nandan were co-chairman of Infosys and now you of course have uh, Mr. Kamat in the non-executive role and Chris in the executive role. So the apprehensions with regards to creating a complicated two-tier or three-tier structure and of course if you add Mr. Murthy a four-tier structure uh, and the fact that this could see a lot of overlaps, that apprehension you think because Mr. Kamat in the non-executive executive role uh, don't really hold true? Well, you know, uh, it's too early to comment on that. Uh, over the next few weeks, I think we will see how the operation of this joint uh, uh, arrangement or the new structure is going to work. Uh, from what I hear, uh, you know, uh, from the press conference was uh, Mr. Kamath is more on, uh, you know, uh, non-executive position. Uh, Chris continues yeah. to uh, head the organization. So, so I really don't see uh, 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 that confusion. Uh, having said that, bigger issue really is, you know, uh, uh, how they transform the company company to uh, meet new requirement. Hmm. In fact, I want to talk to you about that because now Shibulal will be the CEO and the managing director of Infosys and he very clearly articulated right here uh, on our show the Infosys 3.0 strategy, the four verticals that they're now going to be aligning the company towards. Uh, on the basis of what you heard from Shibu who really is going to be steering the company from the 21st of August uh, this year, uh, you know, what were your key takeaways? Well, I, frankly, you know, I think um, I heard uh, at a very high level what he talked, but there was nothing much uh, different than what they have been saying for the last few months. Uh, three anchor areas, seven new themes, and that 21 uh, or 7 by 3 combination driving company. Uh, Policy-wise or strategy-wise, it looks fine to me. Key really is how they implement that, how they take that message to client and how they change the solution or the content of business value that they deliver to clients uh, substantially, how they build their organization uh, to uh, meet that new requirement is really key. You know, because the biggest challenge, not only for Infosys, but for the whole industry is last six months or nine months, you know, the industry has seen dramatic change in what clients are expecting because clients themselves have transitioned from recession to post recession era with a very different expectation from IT. So fact, while just, we you know, have been debating... 
Yeah. I just want to interrupt here, Sudeen, because you're talking about, uh, you know, the need to create that bridge and that connect between clients and um, both Mr. Murthy uh, as well as uh, Shibu clearly articulated that it's going to be Krish Gopala Krishnan uh, in his role as the executive co-chairman of the company that's going to play that bridge between emphasis and clients. So clearly clients uh, and the association and building the relationship is going to be a large part of Chris's uh, responsibilities. Well, you know, uh, and that's not new for him. As a CEO, he was uh, involved with, obviously, a lot of client interactions. So it's not new for him in that sense. Um, I personally feel, however, uh, is, you know, there is an extra burden on Indian uh, leadership, you know, the CEOs or chairman. Uh, very recently, in the last 8-10 days, we talked to 35 offshore clients to ask them, uh, you know, what role they see chairman, CEO of their offshore suppliers playing out. And, and then, you know, compared to any other tech space, like, you know, it's a hardware service, was networking, uh, they explicitly said that they, they would like to have uh, that connect which has been there with iconic uh, leadership of this industry. So I think clients are looking for that connect. The connect uh, helps uh, to uh, have a better comfort to deal with offshore providers. The connect helps to uh, give a room to show, demonstrate uh, innovation and things like that which are you know required for business value to be delivered. So I think you know uh, the, the, the change uh, however is you know it's from uh, people centric resource centric technology focused business to now the mandate for the new leadership uh, not only in forces but entire industry is really to uh, shift from uh, resource centric business to value and innovation centric business right all right so then my final question to you does this materially change the way that the markets have uh, have seen Infosys post its quarterly numbers and also what about its clients how do you see Infosys as clients reacting to these changes on Monday well, you know, uh, I uh, really will leave it to Infosys management to decide, you know, their quarterly number focus and the margin focus. Uh, it's really their prerogative, I would say. Uh, from client perspective, I think, you know, um, whatever conversations I had in last one month since this whole uh, discussion has come to forefront, uh, clients are interested. I, I, you know, I don't want to, uh, you know, overestimate that, that it is going to influence substantially the business that they give to Infosys. But there is a curiosity, uh, especially when you speak to CI, uh, they say that you know the new leadership uh, has to be in line with the iconic uh, uh, Mr. Murthy and Nandan uh, because of the connects that they expect their uh, uh, you know uh, CEOs to have with the new management. So uh, I think clients are watching. Uh, they there have been some uh, concerns with a lot of media hype around this issue. Uh, or more, I think you know we have to hear uh, in next week how they see. But I I think you know by and large clients uh, are not going to get very shocked because there is uh, no dramatic change. Chris continues. Uh, uh, yeah. Shibu is not new to company, uh, so I, I don't That's think right. there would be a dramatic knee-jerk reaction. All right, it has been a vote for continuity, and that surely should be comforting uh, to Infosys' client as well as perhaps the market. So, Dean Apte, many thanks for joining us here with your thoughts on CNBC TV 18. So, Dean Apte, the principal analyst at Offshore Insights. Well